What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in this video we're going to talk about an extension that will turn SketchUp into a complete physics simulator. Before we get started I do want to take a second and thank my newest supporter on Patreon, Woodworks. So one of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon of this show is you get to vote on the extension of the week. So my supporters on Patreon actually selected this extension this week. So if that's something you're interested in, if you're just looking for a way to support the show, make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, MS Physics. Plugin developer, Anton S. Plugin cost, it's free. Where can you get it? You can download it from the Sketchication Extension Store or by clicking on the link in the notes down below. Tool Functions This extension literally simulates physics within SketchUp. There are a lot of functions that are contained within this tool, including the ability to simulate gravity, friction, mechanical joints, and a lot more. Like a lot of other extensions, you're going to have to install a library in order for it to work. So you need to install the AMS library extension in order for this to work because that contains a lot of the different math functions and other things that you need to turn this into a physics simulator. And I'll link to that in the notes down below as well. There are a lot of features in this extension, but I'm going to try to provide a high-level overview of what this extension can do, and if there's a desire for me to do a follow-up video about specific features, I can definitely do that. When you first install this extension, you're going to get three menus. The first is for running your physics simulation. You can access things like the physics UI, as well as playing and rewinding your simulations. The second menu contains all the tools for working with mechanical joints. Finally, the third toolbar allows you to record and export your videos. In this tool, you can assign many different kinds of physics properties to objects, including density, friction, magnetism, shapes, and more. In addition, you can also adjust things in the world itself, like gravity. You can access all of these objects for each individual shape by right-clicking and going down to the MS Physics menu option. By setting these properties for each object, you can simulate things in your model, like collisions, or movement, or different things like that. One tip to get started is to set the objects you don't want to move, like planes or ramps, as static meshes. To do this, simply right-click on the object, go down to Shape, and select the option for Static Mesh. This will make your object not move, and this can work as something that you can build on top of. In addition, you can also set the way that the shapes behave by right-clicking and going to the shape section. This will allow you to tell MS Physics what kind of shape you're dealing with so that the physics calculations are more accurate. For example, in this case, I would set a sphere as a sphere shape so that it would roll properly. As you can see, there are a lot of other options that you can adjust in here as well. I'm not going to have time to get into all of them in this video. However, if you're interested in me doing more with MS Physics, leave a comment down below. This tool also contains a complete set of objects for creating mechanical connections. By using these connections, it's actually possible to simulate things like cars or flying birds or that sort of thing. These connections can be operated using a slider, keyboard, joystick, or scripts. Finally, MS Physics comes with a recorder that will allow you to export animations to Indigo Render, Kirkathea, or also as a sequence of images that can be stitched into videos. Overall, this extension has a huge amount of possibilities. It allows custom scripting as well as keyboard control, live keyboard control of objects in your model. That being said, it also has a steep learning curve. I'm going to link to a couple locations with more information and more tutorials about this extension. At a minimum, I'd recommend downloading it and giving it a try. It's a ton of fun generating a brick wall and then rolling an object into it. That's where I'm going to end today's video. Leave a comment and let me know what you thought. Is this something you're interested in? Had you even thought of using something like this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. In either case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.